Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase and the Angular. Today we are going to learn about how to send the push notification using the cloud messaging Firebase. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to give you the demo. So in the Angular, how to send the push notifications. So here we have. So here you can see that we have the Firebase API for sending the push notification, which require the token notification with title, body, and the additional data. Okay. So, so this is the endpoint, and this is the body request. And in the authorizations, we need the bearer SS token. So how to generate the SS token? You can use the Node.js API, which were already mentioned in the new Firebase playlist. So how to generate the SS token? You will get it from there and paste it over here. Okay. Or you can call the API, which I am doing currently right now. So I'm calling the API to getting the SS token, and then I'm going to send the notifications. Okay. So let's see the notifications. So here you can see that we can send the notification like this, and here you can see that the two notification will come. Okay. Let's send and uh, let's. The notifications are hidden. So I need to just check. So here, let's scroll down the postman and now we are going to send this notification. Details are hidden while you share your screen. So basically I'm sharing the screen. That's the reason the details are hidden. So eight notifications are coming here. You can see that. Okay. Another thing we can do, the notifications are coming or not. If I just open that in a browser here, you can see that. So let's go to the terminal and uh, I think the URL would be 4200. Let's add uh, 42,000. Not let's go to the Chrome and let's add the local host. 42,042. Let's enter it. And here we go with this one. So here you can see that the token obtained successfully. We received the token. Now I'm going to send the notifications like this. Okay. So here you can see that. Okay. The notification will not receive. I haven't added the code over there. So let me add that code. So push notification dot service. No, in the app dot component where it is app component dot ts let's listener event initial message listener i have to call this one and let's save this let's go to that one and let's open it okay so let's try to send it up notification sent and here you can see new message received and this notification will come over here. So you can do like this also. So whenever somebody send the notification and if you are in the browser, so it will pop up like this, that this is a test notification will come. So you can change the body parameters as per the, your. So here you can see that I, if I just make it like this and try to send it up. So here you can see this is a test notification too. You can make it like a toast notification also. So once the we are sending the notification from the Firebase, from this API. So this is how you can modify it accordingly, whether it's to be a toast message, whether it's to be a, on the pop-off side. Okay. So if I just close this one, it will come to the background notifications, which were already shown you, right? If I click on this one, if I try to send this, so it will come like a background notifications, like details are hidden while you are sharing the screen, right? So here you can see that, right? And uh, let's move to the next one, like the dive into the code level. Okay, so how we have implemented this one. Okay, so for let's begin that one. So I will share step by step all the files, okay, which I have done. So first one, this is redundant. First of all, we have to create the basic uh, Angular. I think it's 18 project. Let me check because I have made it a new one. So let me check this, the Angular project. So here we go, package.json file. Yeah. So here you can see that we have, is it Angular 15? But uh, I have just used the latest version. Router animations common. Okay. 
that's not an issue let's move to the next one okay so first of all we have to create the firebase messaging dot sw dot js which is a service worker okay so we're for getting the notification the browser notifications make sure you have added this code so this is our import scripts right and let me just open it up okay and this is your firebase credentials you have to put it over here right and this is our messaging on the background notification you will receive that one correct next in the next file angular.json i think we don't need to require this one yeah you can require this one so here you have to use the firebase messaging dot sw dash and the source manifest.json okay and firebase.json we haven't done anything moving to the next okay this is done in in the index dot file i have added this one manifest.json okay and i have created the environment.ts file so make sure you have to create this one production falls currently on this is firebase and this is our rapid key so make sure you have to add the rapid key in this in the web push notification section or you can say cloud messaging section there is a section that uh, how to create that uh, pair okay so here you can get this one rapid key okay moving to the next one this is our token service okay so here we are calling the api to get the ss token so you can get this token okay so this is how we are calling that api then we have to go with push notification service so here you can see that where we are the api url where we are trying to send the push notifications okay there is a button that is send notifications if you remember i have closed this one but you remember there is a button that send notification that will call over here get the ss token and the fail to retrieve the token if the token received then send the notification with the message type notification title body and send it okay this is that one next we move to the push notification done then app module dot ts make sure you have to add the environment firebase app angular common http and initialize the app with the environment dot firebase okay so this is the things which we have added correct and we have to import the http client module next app component dot ts which is the main file okay so you have to import the, import the environment firebase messaging push notification service file okay and there you have to go with the define the app title and notification payload for sending the notification which will be shown into the template file this template file so notification payload is there then we are going to show this one if the notification payload is not there we are sending we are writing the message that no message arrived and if i click on the button send notification it will trigger the notification run time okay now we go to the app component.ts file so here we have ng on in it we are calling the permission and the message listener and this is for send notification okay so this is very simple we have to call the firebase api for the respective token you have to add hello and this send the push service send the notification and notification sent successfully if something wrong then error sent okay initial notification permission we want so we have to register the service worker so firebase messaging dot s hyphen sw dot js file if it is then service worker is registered with scope else registration failed now we are going to get the token so this is how we are going to get the firebase token otherwise it will print that please grant the permission to generate the token okay then if you want to get the notification on the angular side or if you want to show in a toast message side so this is that code on message firebase message payload okay so this will get into the angular platform also not the you can say about the console level okay so browser notification will only come from here that is this one where the file is this one okay so background notification so this is the responsible for sending the push notification for the chrome with the chrome logo and everything this is for that one okay and for if you want to handle the notification on your angular side so what we have to do we have to go with the app component and you have to call the function like this okay so here you can send the notification like this okay notification dot payload message dot payload right okay so this is how you can do that any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day